Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscriber button. Let's grow this family together. Shout out to all my new subscribers. I love you all. I see all of your amazing comments. Thank you so much for being here. Also, be sure to check me out on my podcast at The Dima Podcast for the best podcast content ever. I mean, because why not? Okay, so listen. I was always the first to run to Sephora when new brands would drop a product, and lately I'm just not into it. <laughs> the thing is that there's just so much. There's so much, and I love to see it, but it's overwhelming. Do you agree? If you notice on my channel, I'm someone who just like loves simple, minimal makeup. I don't go too heavy with the eyeshadow often, at least for every day. And as a makeup artist, I can pursue any makeup look, but for me, every day, I just like to stick to my basics. As long as I have a nice complexion, lips and cheeks, I'm like thriving. So not often am I running to get like the next best thing, but every now and then someone will drop something and I'm like, oh, I have to try this. Or if I go into Sephora or Ulta, I'm just like, oh, that looks nice, which is what happened today. But honestly, like I'm just sticking to basics lately and it's just easier and I feel like I don't lose inspiration that way because sometimes with all these new things it's just overwhelming I don't know but there's so many nice things out there I just can't keep up honestly <laughs> all right with that being said I got a few new things from Sephora I think I got four things I love Huda Beauty and so I really wanted to try her pressed powder that just came up I've seen different opinions on it so I kind of wanted to give it my own I did a video on house labs by Lady Gaga foundation not too long ago and I fell in love with her foundation it's absolutely amazing you know I love concealer so she dropped a concealer we had to pick her up ASAP I actually went into the store just for this okay this is never in store so I had to get it it's not a new product it's just something that I've always had my eye on but I refuse to order I'm not an order and mail type of girl I need to buy it in the store so they finally freaking had it this is the Charlotte Tilbury the wand um, I got the contour color it's the medium deep uh, brown so we're gonna try her to contour again I have the glow one and I love it I've tried her blushes Love We love Charlotte Tilbury. She's a keeper. And finally, I can't remember the last time I bought a palette, you guys. I have so many palettes. I have so many palettes. So this one caught my attention. My friend sent it to me and I was like, wait, this is giving. Like this is something I could use in my makeup kit. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It's the groundwork defining neutrals. Again, I love neutrals, but this palette's universal. You can use it for your eyebrows, for your eyes, for your face. So we're going to try her. It looks really beautiful. And also again, something that I can use every day on myself and on other people because it's very neutral. So here we are. Of course, I have my receipt to give you the price points and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on all these things trying for the first time. If you are interested in seeing my little Sephora haul on these products, then please continue to watch this video. Okay, first things first, I want to use my liquid, so concealer and this wand to contour, but I need to do the base of my face really quick, so I'm just going to put some foundation on. I'm just going to go in with the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation today. I'm going to do very light foundation, not too much. I'm literally put like the smallest amount because I really am going in light. Also, nothing matches. I need What I should have got was some new foundation. I've gotten so dark from traveling that my body is so dark compared to my skin, but we're going to bronze it up, don't worry. I'm going to focus this on the outer areas of my face, not necessarily under my eyes, because I'm going to test that concealer on essentially bare skin for the most part. It's so funny because my mom always watches my makeup videos and she's like, your face never matches your neck. And I'm like, I'm aware of it, mother. I know, but like give it, she, it's like she says that before she watches the whole video. And I'm like, by the end of the video, everything will look good. Just trust the process. But you know how that goes. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's jump in right to this concealer. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga Triclin Skin Tech Concealer Corrector. I picked up the color 21 Light Medium Neutral. Light Medium Neutral, that's interesting. So which one is it? Is it light? Is it medium? Is it neutral? I don't know. Anyways, I love a good bright concealer under the eye. I love her packaging. It's just frosted, beautiful, has a uh, situation like this, a little wand. Um, and the applicator looks really nice too. So let me quickly read on this product. Okay, it says it's infused with 20 skincare ingredients. This clean concealer brightens and covers with a weightless serum texture. I love that. I love weightless and I love serum obviously. And it's supposed to give you a hyper smooth skin finish. So let's be the judge of that. I actually watched her tutorial on her channel doing it and using it. So it looked really nice. She's really beautiful. Her skin's so nice. So we're just going to go ahead and put a few dots right under the eye. I'm going to start lightly like that because it's thick. So I feel like coverage is going to be wild. I'm just going to go in with a beauty blender and start blending this out. I like my concealer two or three shades lighter than my foundation. So I go really light. I don't mind it. I like to brighten. And wow, immediately it's blending really nicely and creamy. It's a little bit more dry under the eye. So if you like something a little bit more with the oil texture, I don't think you're going to 
be a fan because it's much more on the thicker side, but the coverage is really beautiful. I just like for everything to be really oily in the beginning and then I can set with powder, but it's not bad. It's not like getting stuck. You know how sometimes it's so dry it doesn't move? It's definitely blending. It's just a little dry under the eye. If you have more visibility to like lines under your eye or texture, this is gonna kind of show that, but it's not a bad concealer. Her foundation is much more on the silky side, which I love. This is still really pretty, but I'm looking at it, which is hard to see on the camera because it's a little bit more smooth, but in person, definitely texture there. Again, it could just be my skin texture. It might work for other people. My skin changes throughout the seasons because it's getting more cold now, so I am a little bit more dry. I'm just used to more creamy concealers. This is really nice though in terms of coverage, in terms of blending ability, still really nice. And I think it looks really good and the color is perfect. So I'm not obsessed with it, but again, it could just be the texture of my skin. I definitely love her foundation better. This is a $32 concealer, FYI, so yeah. Okay, that's the concealer. Now I'm gonna jump into the Charlotte Tilbury wand. This costs 42 US dollars. Okay, this is a Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. It says it's for easy contouring. I picked up the color medium deep. I've been waiting to try her. Like you guys don't understand. It's been sold out for so long, so I'm like, is it great or is it great? So I love the wand application so you can twist it on and off so it's not going to always come out but I, you just twist it to turn it on and you just press it a little bit oh and it comes out right away i'm just going to put this where i would contour so one two three oh one two three you don't need a lot a little goes a long way i'm really <laughs> i'm really excited about this okay i think that's a good amount i don't know how this is i'm going to just twist it off i'm going to blend this and i'm just going to begin to Go in circular motions like this. Okay, not bad. Holy, I love it. This looks much darker when you apply it on the skin, but it blends like butter. That is the most stunning thing I've seen in a long time. I'm actually excited. Like this is, look at how smoothly this blends and it's not overwhelming. Like you think that it's like, oh shoot, I put too much on. Not bad at all. It blends and melts into your skin. Look at that color is insane. It's a pretty warm, like neutral kind of gray undertone. You don't look orange. Using what's left over, putting it a little bit behind my eyes, down the bridge of my nose. 100 out of 100. A plus, straight A student. This is a 10 out of 10. Okay, let's jump right into the Huda Beauty Pressed Powder. 38 US dollars, this just recently came out and we love Easy Bake Powder by Huda Beauty. I have the cupcake color. So essentially what this is, is just a pressed version of her setting powder, the loose setting powder. It comes in this nice little compact. I picked up the color Pound Cake, which has a little bit more of a yellow undertone and it comes like that. It has a mirror, nice uh, amount in there. There's some fallout, I see it already. And then it also comes with a cute little powder puff that looks like a, um, Beauty blender, it's like a little sponge. I'm gonna go right into this powder and set my under eyes. By the way, that concealer hasn't creased because it's much more dry um, and it looks pretty good now. It's like melted into my skin. You know how you have to give makeup a minute to sit on your face and then it just kind of does its thing. It looks good, like I don't, it's not oily at all. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with this um, little powder puff and get some of that product on there. I'm just setting her under the eye. She's brightening. And looks good. The color is nice in terms of brightness under the eye. It's very pigmented. It's not gonna be a translucent, remember that. I hate this, I'm gonna be honest. That little thing is not gonna work for me. I like the idea of it to like take it to go, but I am just gonna use a brush here. I'm more of a brush gal and I'm just gonna get into this powder and just uh, the under eye. I feel like, see, that buffs it in so much nicer. Wow, this is really pretty. And I saw a bunch of ladies saying that this is more luminous. It's not matte. Her um, setting powders are more matte, but I'm not getting like a luminous look from this. I'm just getting a very pigmented under eye. So, you know, just pick the color wisely because it's definitely gonna show. It's not gonna be like a clear setting powder, but this color works for me and it's nice to brighten. I'm looking closely at it and the texture of my skin looks good. It doesn't look bad. 
go-to setting under eye powder right now is by Charlotte Tilbury, the beautiful pressed powder, the airbrush finish. So this is nice. It's like a nice little um, balance of something new and that still looks really good. So I like it. I actually really like it, but I'm not crazy about the little puff it comes with. So I might just put in my own little powder puff in there or just carry a brush with me. But in terms of just pigmentation, texture, it's really nice. The last product. This is a $65 palette. And it's kind of massive. Like, why? It looks so big right now. <laughs> Let's open it. You guys, this is so pretty. If you haven't seen this yet, you need to see it. It's really big. Hello? Okay. All right, here we go. Wow. Whoa. Okay, so let's talk about this. I'm really excited. We have a very light color called Santone, and then we have a very dark color called... I can't say that. So apparently you can use this for anything. You can use it for eyebrows. You could, I could use this color up here to set my under eye, more of a banana color. It says here it's buildable, it's blendable, it's velvety, and it's rich in color. It's a weightless hybrid formula. It's a palette for eyes, brows, face, even lips. What? Lips? And I feel like this palette deserves its own video, but we'll play with it a little bit. So. What's also really cool is the bigger side of the palette is more of a pomade texture. So you can actually use this for concealer like this color or contouring. And then the smaller is an actual powder shadow. So that's awesome that you have like both options to work with and you can use it for anything on your face. But I'm gonna use it for some eyebrows and then, and then it also says lips. So I think we're gonna use it as a lip liner. I don't know, let's just play with it. I'm overwhelmed. Okay, so I like a darker, thicker brow. I'm gonna go into the color Sculpted here, which is like a darker brown. And I'm gonna go into the bigger side because it's more of a pomade made on my brows to give it some color and I immediately see the color wow this is nice to just travel with so you don't have to take so many things I'm into it I'm really into just convenience at a cost here we go color is insanely good it looks like my brow powders okay wow Okay, for like a quick brow fix, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so what else can I do with you? Okay, so I really want to also just do a little eyeshadow lightly behind. And you know me, I like very simple. So this desert color is really pretty. I'm just going to go into both colors here and kind of mix it. I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid just for some definition and see how that looks. I'm just going to blend like that. That's pretty. It blends really nicely. Again, it's very, very soft, so you can build it. It won't be too empowering too quick. I'm gonna even go back into that sculpted color on the shadow side and just get that warmer brown and just do some, wow, there it is. Blending in circular motions and then just bringing it out like that just to get some definition. Wow, love that. That looks really elegant and just soft and like matte. I love this. Okay, so we're kind of obsessing. I feel like I have so much work to do with this, but this is a vibe. Now, it says you can use it for lips, so let's use it for lips because I just realized I don't have blush on and I can't live without blush. Since we're more warm and we have some browns going on, I'm going to go in with the peachy blush. This is by Chanel. It's the color um, Rose. I add this on the apples of my cheek just for some color to blend everything together. Blush just makes you look happy, very happy. So I just have like a flat lip brush here. Okay, there's this color Bark in here and I'm gonna go into the pomade side and just grab some of that. I'm going in very lightly because it's a dark color. I'm just gonna draw and line my lips. Wow, that's going on really nicely. And it's like just using a brown lip liner. I use dark brown lip liners anyway. This is kind of wild. Let's just go ahead and get more of this. Yo. I'm kind of mind blown right now. Really blend it. Somebody wrote me a comment and said that my lip liner was too dark and it looked like I had a mustache. Thank you. Um, I prefer a really dark lip liner. It's just my vibe. My lips are naturally big, but I'm gonna do what I want, thank you. Okay, that outlined magnificently. Like, I'm shook. This is just my MAC, it thinks it's MAC because I kind of want to leave the color of my lips. So this color is very close to the, my lip color. It's sheer, one of my favorites in terms of formula. I gotta say, I'm literally feeling myself. Like this makeup is insane. We're, we're thriving, what do we think, we're thriving. 
palette. I am going to dedicate an entire video to it directly, so look for that. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you've used any of these products before, if you like it, if you hate it, if you think I have a mustache, um, let me know. I will list everything in the description box. As always, I love you all. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.